um, of course, when you say that you feel satisfied, share a little bit more why you felt satisfied on that day. Perhaps you got a compliment from the doctor. Tan Kalu, you improved today. I'm so happy because you got back on time to the patient. And of course, at that time, I, as an audience, would be able to understand that why are you satisfied? Because currently, I don't know why you are satisfied, but yes, you are satisfied. And um, you also said that uh, you need to observe to understand better from the doctors or the surgeons so that you will understand the process better. So perhaps you can share a little bit more of the process as well, the washing, what is the washing procedure like, what are the steps, so that we understand that, oh, when you go into the OT, you need to wash your hands, you need to sanitize your hands, you need to wear the gloves, you need to mix certain type of chemicals, <coughs> and perhaps you pass the tray to the doctor, the doctor does something. So all these things can be shared so that people who are not from the medical industry would be able to understand that what is the scenario that you face daily. Now, apart from that, I think you did very well. I mean, I would say that you have improved from the first time I saw you. I would just advise you to actually have notes so that in case you forget, you can write that doctor's encouragement, experience in the OT, what is the satisfaction, or you can write little, little notes so that when you come here, you actually have a story. The day in an OT. Do you know what is it like to do scrubbing? Scrubbing is not easy. Every day I have to do scrubbing and sometimes the doctor is not happy. So you can start off with a very interesting note and then get people to get very excited to know what is it all about. Alright? But overall you did great. Thank you. Tan Kalu, don't have to be very shy or discouraged because everybody like what I said, impossible, there's nothing that's an impossible start when you start the journey. So staying up here is again a big journey for you. It doesn't matter that you are very low or very depressed or you underperform. My myself and I first intern, I tell you again, horrible experience. Because from my learning curve of I realized that self-discovery, self-learning mistake. I myself know that what kind of mistake, how can I use my strength to utilize it. So from your case, when you do your CC number three onwards, try to be more confident, try to be more like don't treat like your mistakes like very seriously. Like what Sharon just said, you can actually refer to notes or you can actually do it like a very casual or very interactive way. Try to treat this like a very fun and interactive interactive session. So you yourself can benefit it. So Carlo can do it. Hope to see you in the next meeting. Next is for Mr. To, also the first person I know him since early this term. That time he's just a new member sitting right over here. Today, in the 13th of March, season number eight. Wow, massive improvement or progression. Once again, I'd like to invite my predecessor, Area C3 Director, Wong <laughs> Kelan, to evaluate Dolian Singh. speech with the handphone visual aid. It really enhanced the topic that he was going to share with us. Indeed, most of our minds are enslaved with the handphone. And it's a very simple gesture, but it is very powerful. Not only that, he also used another visual aid where the elephant was tied to, to capture us with our mind being enslaved and not move, able to move on. All in all, he used very simple visual aids, but the visual aids were very powerful. And he did his research, and he, he was very vocal, variety as well. He impacted at certain point, enhanced the mind in slave when he demonstrated it. Beautifully done, I must say. He has got a lot of visual actually, he said, but he has no time. The time was limited for him. He enhanced every point with an example in our daily lives. I'm sure all of us agree with his examples, which all of us are actually caught in unnecessarily mind with enslaved messages. And so when you think about it, in today's world definitely compared to the slavery time when you say we use that handcuff, our mind definitely are more enslaved in this present world than the, those days. 
people are most carefree. That's why in today's world there are more depressive patients, more psychological cases. So the help is well, better take care of help. Mm -hmm. And basically well done, I would say. He has, he has met all the objectives. Thank you. Well, my big guesser, my CFO, just gave an evaluation on So Now, visual aids, you did have three visual aids, I realized. I mean, two, of course, your handphone and the, what do you call it, the pictures. Picture. Few things I like about your things is about how you actually deal with the visual aids. Now, visual aids, they can be very good weapon, or they can be something like what people say, like, even you show me the slides, I'm going to read from it, so what's the point you actually do for it? I really like the way that you have two pictures, I mean two visual aids in terms of their, in terms of their don't have words, the handphones and the hand chain. The way that you symbolize that, how can actually this connect to our morale, or our imagination. So that's a very good, well done on the visual aids. I don't know, wow Mr. Toh, another good person know how to deal with visual aids. You did fulfill this, uh, this project with flying colors. Now moving on. To, to evaluate the professional speaker, the keynote speaker of Sharijit class of 2016. So, time, time now. Yeah. Okay. okay. Toastmaster Sharijit, the moment you come up here, wow, I recall a lot of you celebrities Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, JK Rowling, the way they give deliver their, what do you call that? Not the keynote speech, something that you give in the graduation speech. Something that I've heard in speech. The way you deliver it, somehow it really has a very good connection <coughs> between the audience or today the graduated. Few things I like about this of your valedictorian or your keynote speech. Number one, the way that you have a very interesting value in all of us. Because as you know that this is like a transformation from a student of university life to a working life. It's like a very different way of changing. In terms of you have a very good example, such that the, the way the attitude of our mindset, you know, when dealing with people, because attitude is more important than our knowledge. Secondly, that you have a very interesting way when you describe that the perception, because a lot of a lot of graduates they have this common misleading thing that they want to get things fast. But you have a very good strong point saying that you must start from bottom, which is a very good thing. Secondly, in terms of your delivery. Other than you're wearing the mortal, I like the way that you have a very interesting vocal variety that you're able to articulate everything with a very enthusiastic way. The way that you share with a lot of ups and downs in your tone, such as you share the high times when, when as a fresh grad, that you are leaders of tomorrow. Your your sound is very high already, which is very, I can say a very loud, a very fast and very high tone, which is make it very easily, very pleasant to follow. Then you shared about the down times already, such like the common graduate facing today, then your sound getting way lower. So this is a very good way that you control your enthusiastic and control your volume towards the audience. So that's a very good pass point. Thirdly, it's about your personal experience. Well, wow, like I mentioned earlier, the few celebrities like Steve Jobs, they all they face a lot of obstacles or challenges, forces them to like give up their life or have a life learning experience. So you have a very interesting or very good supporting material, such as your experience like working as a club, then transformed into in the legal legal firm. Good, good take home message. Don't give up in the end. So that's a very good take home message. Now, in terms of needs of improvement, not really that much. But perhaps you can actually share a person in terms of organization. You can share a personal experience in in the beginning. So from that from that opening to the end, the personal experience and the message you want to share the audience can be incorporated or can be combined together so we can actually relate that you yourself, when you graduated, wow, and you encountered a few challenges or a few life learning experiences, so what is these things that you want to share with all of us? So this is much more relevant to us and the students. I don't know. Class of 2000 graduate did graduate with an interesting message shared by the valedictorian. So thank you, Miss Sharaji, for sharing this speech. <laughs> okay.
Okay, last time.